Time to be our next guest. Yes. Who is about he's about to uh, uh, realise a career defining moment. When it was announced recently, it was it was massive news. Yeah. Uh, we've all waited years for it. Absolutely. People would come up to him and say, "Is it ever going to happen?" He didn't think it would. We didn't think it would, but it is happening. Kel Brook is coming on Soccer AM. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Making his Soccer AM debut. Please welcome Love the it. special one, Kel Brook. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I, I just saying this because you're a very powerful individual and I felt your muscles today, but it, everyone was, <laughs> is so delighted that you're here today, mate. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks, Thanks for coming on, lad. So excited. Yeah. Your Soccer AM debut. Um, oh, how's it been so far, mate? It's been good, training. No, no, I'm on about Soccer oh, AM so far. Oh, Have you enjoyed it so yeah, far? Yeah, loved it. Good loved stuff. it. Good Give stuff. you some tips out there for Give later, not? Like, yeah. um, big Blaze fan, obviously. Have you ever played? Did you play as a kid? Bits and bats at school. Not Bits a lot. And, not, not too much, to be honest with you. Not too much. Boxers always say when they used to play football, they always used to kind of like end up getting sent off and you know things like that because of the you know All right, they wanted yeah. to have a scrap basically. Basically, that's probably that me, you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, <laughs> right. Let's chat about it. It is one of the biggest UK fights yes. in uh, in history. Oh, Can't be Brook. Uh, February the nineteenth, live on Sky Box Office. We're only two weeks away. Oh. Uh, so uh, thank you so much for being here. Due to that, um, how, how are you feeling about everything? Oh, amazing. Honestly, like, training's gone. Unbelievable. Been out in Fort Aventura for six weeks. Oh, all right. Don't rub it in. A lot, a lot warmer than here. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's, we went out 20th of December, so Christmas, New Year, we cancelled this, you know, last year. So put that work in for this fight. Did you change anything up in your camp this time? Of Not really. I just think that we were, we were there. This is probably the longest we've been out there. Six, like a six-week block, you know, just... Yeah. You know, all of us together concentrating in the villa, training, eating everything together, you know, making sure that we're, there's no stone really? unturned, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the worst part of training for you? The diet. Is it? Yeah. It all I love my food, I love them chocolates. That's, yeah. why, I had to get, that's why I had to get out before Christmas, because I were in Cab you know, Cadbury's yeah. Bowl. No. Needed to get away. Yeah, danger. It's been talked about for ten years, this fight. Did you ever think it was actually going to happen? I didn't, you know... At one time, I didn't think it had happened because it got talked about that much. You know what I mean? He's saying that it was going, it was going to happen, then he never come to the table. So I just, in the back of my mind, I thought, I don't think it's going to happen. But here we are, two weeks away. Yes. Yes. Oh, go, um, I would say, you know, looking from the outside, it pro probably looks like an easy fight to get motivated for in the sense that there doesn't appear to be a lot of love lost between you. Um, where does that stem from originally? It started from when we were at like 18 year old, both we... That as, far back, yeah? Yeah, that far back from his first promoters, uh, promoter Frank Warren. You know, he, he, you know, he more or less said to us that he's going he's gonna to guide us up in a, a stage we're going we're gonna to fight each other. So, you know, someone actually sent me on way down here that, like a, a picture from Boxing News of us both together, like a big article about right. us fighting each other. And so it stems from when we were 18 year old and... And he's just like, you know, what I mean, he's he's done his thing, and it's just it's just never it's never come to it. It's never it's never no. until now. It's like it's been so frustrating for me because wherever I go, it's always the question is when are you fighting me? Can that's all I get asked. So now I can say February nineteenth. Yeah, yeah, I can yeah. say it now. It's on. And from a technical point of view, um, how, how how do you approach that? How would you approach that fight? Because I was watching the 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 um, Lim Williams stuff, uh, the Chris Eubank stuff, and. Liam was basically saying, look, at some point that's going to erupt in... It's, whether it's the first round, the second round, the fifth round, some point in it there, boxing's kind of going to go out of the window and it's, it's going to be... There's going to be a, yeah, that's a, gonna, a scrap It's going to be hard because my head is going to go at some point. <laughs> it's going to go because it's, it's, it's the build-up and the adrenaline, the atmosphere and the, the bad blood. It's like, you know, to just be calm and be professional. I think at some point with adrenaline, with fans, with raw, you're, gonna, you're just going to... You're gonna, you're just gonna fight. Are you gonna fight? Yeah. Have you ever rated him highly as a fighter? Yeah, I think he's, I think he's a good fighter. You know, he's, he's he won't be where he is and don't, you know, become world champion if he's not. And uh, yeah, I do. You know, and 
he doesn't seem to give me that respect. That's, oh, that, okay. that's, that's where it stems from, you know. Yeah. Anyone who gets in that ring, anyone from any level, for me, you've got to take, the, take your half to get in that ring, and you know, because when all yeah. coaches have got, it's you and him, it's not like you can pass to team members, it's like, it's you and him, all, you know, you, need, you, you stood up as your opponent, and you've got to make sure that you've done the runs, all the box of ticks, and then, there you go, ding, ding, you've got, you've got to perform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Nice. Fight now, you've, um, you've filmed a gloves are off, for the yes. fight, and yes. James Tynum, morning James, uh, James top man who works on the boxing, James. he put this together and he says this is the best gloves are off since uh, really? the Frotch and Groves, yeah. and you know how incendiary that was. So uh, yeah. let's have a look at a clip. Has it affected you in your career? Or do you think you've spent most of your time obsessing about this fight? I've been doing my thing, I'm just saying Tell that... Tell you've been obsessed, come on. What, what, what about what? I, 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 I'm, I'm here to, to put you to sleep. That's what I'm here to okay, do. We'll and see, we'll we'll see comes, we're going to see. You are really. There is that jealousy there, isn't I, it? Ow, I'm not a jealous kid. Any other fighter, any other fighter would have walked away with demands what you want, what you want. But I've made it happen on Sky so the people, the fans, can finally see what's going to happen in this fight. Oh. Oh. Hey. 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 Get behind Tom! It's a different Kelbrook there than in here, isn't oh, it? Yeah. That's what, that's what yeah. the grit. The I, grit. Would, I wouldn't. I, I'm, I'm, I, prefer, I prefer him he's in. Focused. I prefer the Kelbrook in here. Yeah, this, yeah this, he's this, nicer, right. isn't it? Uh, yeah. Oh, mate. Uh, Look, so, an animal. Tickets sold out in, in, in <laughs> 10 minutes. Oh, um, 10 minutes? How, how, much, how much does the atmosphere, you know, and, and I'll bring you guys in here as well in terms of, you know, I've, I, you play football, but you know, I know play in front of a lot of people and. Once the bell goes, and how aware of that of the crowd are you, or do you just kind of does it just come down and you're it's, you, it's... you just start focused, tunneled in. Yeah. yeah, you can hear something, but it's it's mental. It's just you're so focused on on your opponent, you can't really you can't really hear it. You can't really hear it, fans. No. To be honest with you, it's just, it's that intense. I was, I'm the same. I'm I'm sure Jim's like when you when I walk out, as soon as you walk over the white line, it's. It's weird. It's like yeah. a blur. You don't remember anything. You're just focused on your game, focused on performing. It's like you're playing over the park. It's, it's a weird feeling. You can't explain it to people until you're out there in that moment. But them ring walkouts you use, that must be... You know, you get them tingles. Uh -huh. And it lasts for longer. Our walkout's done, isn't it? And you're in a team, all eyes are on you. That well, I'm must always be on the bench, so it's I never really walked out. It is mental. Just looking round and seeing everyone on the phones and everyone stood up and... On it, yeah, no. the, the, the feeling what goes through you is, I can't explain here, it's oh, yeah, just yeah. unbelievable. I bet. Oh, yeah. I can't wait for it. Quick, oh. 